Hey guys, it's Nicole here back on this Monday night. I hope you guys are all doing good out there and welcome back to Nicole's View. Now, I mentioned this in my live stream with some of you guys who were um, hanging out with me last night. Um, we talked about this ad and I said I was going to do a video about it and here it is. So by now, most of you have heard about the controversy dealing with Dove Soap and them releasing this. It was just a gif they put on their social media and of course folks saw it and were upset about it, especially if you're black. Um, now, those of you out there who didn't see, what's the problem? What's the problem? Everything is outrage. What is it today? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, you folks who don't get it. The folks who, if they don't know their history, don't know the history of this country and advertisement, they're not gonna get it, okay? It's gonna go right over their heads. But those of us who are analytical, those of us who are thinkers, those of us who know the history of this country when it comes to ads and putting black people in them we know how they work we know what they're trying to imply so with this ad when i immediately saw it i was like there you go black woman takes off her shirt and turns into a white woman okay so when i saw that ad i thought oh black woman is dirty we must cleanse ourselves with Dove soap and we'll turn into a porcelain white white woman that's clean, pristine, and perfect. Okay, so if you didn't get that, if you're too young to understand that, that is programming. That is white supremacy, okay? And then they tried to be slick and add another woman of another race, but the damage is done. And I'm just going to say this. These companies are not stupid, okay? They're not stupid. The folks who sit in the boardrooms, they know exactly what they're doing. In today's um, climate of advertisement and everything that's going on, someone in there has to be black, uh, you know, a person of color, something, you know, unless they're a coon or a bed winch and just agreed with this crap. They have to know how this looks. Trust me, they these folks sit in these boardrooms all day. I work for a my boss is a very high priced, okay, high um, esteemed advertising exec, okay? So she tells me all the time what goes down when it comes to stuff like this, how they're brainstorming ideas. So don't think for a second, none of them in that boardroom said, oh, you know, maybe this is offensive. And then maybe, you know what, we'll just, you know, attach this other woman of color at the end, no one will catch it, no. It's, it's so obvious, you know, um, even if they have any black people in the boardroom. And I bet you at that level, they don't. It would surprise me if they did, because if a black person agreed with this shit, then you need your head examined. Anyway, um, but yeah, it goes back to that age old adage that black people are dirty. We need to be cleaned. You are not clean enough. And we need to scrub you of your melanin. We need to scrub you of your blackness. This is all this is. We saw this a couple of years ago. I don't know if, if the commercial was out of Japan. I can't remember. I think it was Japanese, Chinese, one of them. But you guys remember that commercial where the Asian woman um, threw in the black man in the washing machine, you know, put some laundry detergent in there, washed him up, and then he, uh, an, another Asian man who looked, I mean, his skin was so fair. He looked like, you know, a very clean, pristine Asian man. I can't remember if they were Japanese or Chinese or whatever, but typical. That is what they think of us all around the world, just not in America. This is everywhere. These are the same type of ads that we are, you know, just bombarded with. And for many folks, it goes right over their heads. But for us, those of us who are awake and we are smart, we see what they're doing here. They're doing this 
for attention, okay? I don't believe for a second that they didn't think this was going to fly, okay? Getting this type of attention, I call it like the negative grabber. You know what I'm saying? They have to do this every now and then. And Dove, this isn't their first rodeo doing this. So don't think for a second these folks were not sitting back thinking, maybe this don't look right. You know what I'm saying? Don't think for a second, okay? These folks are getting top dollar. They know what the hell they're doing. They know what they're doing, okay? So I feel like they do, do this on purpose. I feel like they do certain, these companies, every now and then they'll throw you a bone where it looks obviously either racist, sexist, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm not buying this. I'm not buying the apology. I'm not buying any of it. And, you know, for those out there who are black and still want to support this crap, then that's on you. Okay. Spend your money where you're going to spend it. But I saw that immediately. That's what I thought. I'm like, no, like who the hell green lighted this? This is stupid. This is dumb, you know? But anyway, um, I definitely won't be buying them because I used to buy Dove for my son because he used to have such sensitive skin and they have, you know, like baby Dove soap. And I used to get it all the time, but not anymore. Yeah. I mean, come on. Really? And they really thought they were going to get away with this by having attached another woman, quote unquote, of color. Like, we're not going to recognize that. Like, stop. Dove tried it and you failed. Okay. You failed miserably. Okay. But anyway. Let me know what you think about this, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.